primary promise, building the nation's model health system for children. The Grant Scott Bonham Fetal Center is the first highly specialized fetal care center in Utah and the Intermountain West. We're not only creating emotional and social support systems to improve families' experiences, but this vital community resource has positioned primary children's to become a national leader in fetal care, including complex surgeries. I had a healthy, typical pregnancy. Up until my 17th, almost 18th week, the OBGYN called me and she said, you need to go see the maternal fetal medicine specialist. At 5.05 p.m., my pregnancy was no longer a healthy pregnancy. The maternal fetal medicine specialist, Dr. Draper, came in and he said, it's spina bifida, myeloma And you know, you, you ask these questions, what did I do wrong? Did I cause this? Like, there's so many things that go through your mind. I love my job because we have the privilege to meet families during a very difficult time in their pregnancy and help them navigate this new diagnosis. The families have an opportunity to meet with us, the maternal fetal medicine doctors, as well as other teams to help develop a plan of care that's best for this family. Spina bifida is a really unique fetal diagnosis in that fetal surgical intervention does provide the opportunity to really improve postnatal outcomes. Rather than 20% of these children being able to walk independently by three years of age when we do the traditional afterbirth repair, that number is actually doubled after fetal surgical intervention. We're harnessing the power of research to not only improve care for expecting families here but working with others across the country to set the standard for care. And our patients and families are the first to benefit. This is Miss Abigail Rose. Can you say hi? She is going to be two in a few short weeks. She's very charismatic. She's determined. She's so adaptable to her world around her. I knew that fetal surgery was the route we wanted to go. and. I can say with 100% certainty, I'm glad we made that decision. They're always encouraging you and they never dissuade you of saying, oh, this child's never gonna be able to do this. To Leo, it's just the new normal. I don't think he, he came into this world thinking, oh, I was born with a limitation. He always goes up to new people, introduces himself. Hi, I'm Leo, I have spina bifida. He doesn't set limitations for himself, so things that are difficult, he just finds a way. We had skiing lessons last winter for him, and he kept falling, and every single time he got back up, and he had a big smile on his face, and he was like, let's do it again. <laughs> and by the end of the day, he was skiing down the bunny hill and having a great time. The multidisciplinary team is quite large, so you have specialists, all sorts of pediatric subspecialists, so the people who are focused on the baby. And then you have the MFMs, the maternal fetal medicine doctors, and the OB doctors who are focused on mom and mom's health. And then you've got social work teams and our palliative care teams who are really there to counsel on the emotional well-being through this process. And so you've got all this team that mom sees in the appointment, but then I think what a lot of families don't see is that this team is also meeting every week to talk about every person that comes through that clinic and make sure, are we on the same page? The team caring for this baby and family is impressive. It includes experts from Primary Children's, the University of Utah, Intermountain Medical Center, and the maternal fetal medicine specialist from the mother's home community. The Grant Scott Bonham Fetal Center it's the only center of its kind and is housed at Primary Children's Hospital. We wouldn't really be here without our philanthropic support. And one of the most important things is that we need to continue to grow the endowment. This will really allow us to continue to increase the resources and capabilities that we have at the fetal center. We really want to be able to care for all parents and children. And some of that requires support for people that can't afford to do so. We need resources for research. We not only want to be on the cutting edge, we want to help push that edge further. 
This program has thrived because it has met moms in those moments of instability and really done well at guiding them, walking with them through that process and telling them, we have a plan for you, we are here for you, and you know, it's going to be okay. Philanthropy is powerful. Our center is leading collaboration and improvement across the nation, offering critical treatments and coordinated care to expectant mothers. As part of the nation's model health system for children, we'll be able to support a baby throughout their entire childhood, from before birth all the way to adulthood. For me, Primary Children's holds a really special place in my heart. I remember when we took him back to Primary Children's for his first appointment, I just started crying and it wasn't because I was sad or I just, it's such a special place and you meet incredible people, like not only from the healthcare team, but other patients and families and just what a great support system. I'm so proud of her resilience, of her determination of that fire that she's got in her soul to overcome circumstances and overcome her disability. I just love her so much. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs>